Well, the Alzheimer's Foundation of America is calling the approval of a drug shown in testing to slow the effects of the disease, quote, another step forward in treatment. The FDA today approved the drug. It is called lecanemab, saying its decision was based on a mid-stage trial of almost 900 patients with Alzheimer's. Emma Henderson spoke with a family and a doctor about what it could mean for patients. Bill Herzog knows how important every moment with your loved one battling Alzheimer's is. His wife was diagnosed at 55 and lived with it for nine years. You certainly realize how much you miss the individual when they're gone. And I can tell you that the more time you have with your loved one, we all know where Alzheimer's is going to lead us. Herzog says new medications like the one approved today by the FDA provide hope, with the end goal being a cure. But he has some concerns about it being cost prohibitive and currently not covered by Medicare. Getting legislation to get people access to these drugs is crucial. Dr. Alan Lerner of University Hospitals shares the same concern about the treatment currently being cost prohibitive and says patients interested in the new medication should get ready to do a lot of testing before beginning the infusion. We also have to uh, do a significant amount of testing in order to see that they really have early Alzheimer's disease and not other causes of memory loss, such as stroke, infection, brain tumor. Herzog believes there are so many families that would do what it takes to get this medication if it means a few more months of memory for a loved one. It is so important to the families that are going to face this issue, and unfortunately, I don't know anybody that hasn't been uh, affected by it. In there, you heard Herzog discuss how finding a cure and having that first survivor of Alzheimer's is the long-term goal. That's something that was echoed by the Alzheimer's Foundation of America, a nonprofit that provides services to family members who have loved ones battling the disease. Russ, Laura. Okay. Emma Henderson, thank you so much.